Hello. In this video, we're going to talk about the hydration of alkynes. Uh, like alkenes, alkynes can also react with water under various conditions and form hydration products. Unlike alkenes, uh, the hydration of an alkyne doesn't produce an alcohol, but produces a ketone or an aldehyde, some kind of carbonyl compound. Uh, in this generic case, we're going to produce a ketone. We have hydrocarbon groups uh, on either side. Uh, just uh, as a quick comparison, uh, let's look at the alkene example. Here's our alkene. Let's copy down our water in various conditions. Uh, and the alkene does not make a ketone. It makes an alcohol. and we make alcohol from an alkene. All right. <clears throat> alkene, alcohol. And you might look at these, al these uh, outcomes, and if you've learned anything else about the addition reactions of alkynes, you, you might be suspicious about this outcome because you know, water should add to the alkyne pi bonds much to the way it adds to an alkene pi bond. Uh, adding an H to one side and an and OH to the other. Uh, and, and in fact, that's actually what happens. So, so let's, get a, let's, let's drag this down here. Uh, and let's draw that initial, what you, we think an initial, uh, initial addition product might look like. After after an initial an, an initial addition of water, so we have uh, H from the H two O added at one place, OH added at the other spot. Uh, we get this intermediate here called an enol, and I'm I'm calling it an intermediate because I happen to know that this is not the end end product. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about enols again in the next screen, and then I have a whole video about uh, tautomerization, which explains why enols are not the, the final product. Uh, but it turns out that under the conditions of this reaction, this enol is in equilibrium with the ketone. And the ketone is favored at equilibrium. Before we go on and talk about the different kinds of conditions in the next couple of videos, I just want to say a little bit more about keto-enol tautomerization. And actually, I want to grab these two structures uh, and bring them over. Here is our enol. Uh, now we're not really going to be talking about this thing as an intermediate reaction. We're just going to talk about it as a structure. And I'm going to call this thing uh, keto. I'm not going to finish out the word ketone uh, because in explaining the relation, different relationships between these two structures, this is called the enol tautomer. And this is called the keto tautomer. Uh, and R can be all kinds of things. So you can actually have... Uh, other carbonyl functional groups if R isn't a hydrocarbon and still have keto enol uh, tautomerization. And for most molecules, the, um, the equilibrium lies on the side of the keto uh, tautomer. And, and let's back up a moment. Let's actually talk about what, what do we mean by the word uh, a tautomer. So a tautomer is a constitutional ice, or tautomers, like all mers, uh, we actually were referring to a relationship between two structures. Uh, you can't have a single tautomer, like you can't have a single enantiomer. Uh, we we're talking about the relationship Tautomers are constitutional isomers that are in equilibrium with each other. Uh, 
myrrh is our, our sort of generic ending for, for uh, chemical things. And tautomer contains this tot prefix. Uh, if you've sort of ever taken you know, some logic or, or certain psychology courses, you might be uh, familiar with the idea of a tautology. Uh, tautology are things that are the same but appear to be different. I'm not coming up with a really great example uh, outside of tautomers, but a tautomer is the chemical equivalent uh, of a tautology. Uh, the idea is that these two structures look different, but they're in equilibrium with each other. So they're actually uh, the same thing. Uh, we don't call them, it's not like resonance where we have resonance structures trying to approximate a, two, a true structure. And those resonance intermediate, those resonance contributors we draw are never actually the structure. Uh, if we were to take a solution of these and analytic, analyze it spectroscopically, we would be able to see, uh, say by NMR spectroscopy, peaks for the enol tautomer and peaks for the keto tautomer. So both of these things exist. They can't be isolated from each other because they're in equilibrium. So if you somehow manage to separate the keto tautomer, it would start isomerizing immediately. Uh, as I said, in most cases, the you know the keto isomer or the keto tautomer is favored over the enol tautomer, and the reason for that, if we look at the bonds that are in the enol tautomer, we have a carbon. Oxygen, uh, let's show carbon label, high hydrogen. So look, carbon, carbon, boss, double bond, uh, a carbon, oxygen, single bond, and an oxygen, hydrogen, single bond. And on the other side, we have instead of a carbon-carbon double bond, we have a carbon-oxygen double bond. Instead of a carbon-oxygen single bond, we have a carbon-carbon single bond. And instead of an oxygen-hydrogen single bond, we have a carbon-hydrogen single bond. Uh, and if we were to look up the bond association energies of these things, we would see that the carbon-carbon bond is weaker than the carbon-oxygen double bond. The carbon-oxygen single bond and the carbon-carbon single bond uh, are pretty similar in energy with maybe the carbon-oxygen single bond. Well, let's not lie to you. Let's see the, the carbon-oxygen single bond being a little bit stronger. So, carbon oxygen, the carbon oxygen double bond is a little bit stronger, or stronger than the carbon uh, carbon double bond. The carbon oxygen single bond is a little bit stronger than the carbon uh, carbon double bond, and the oxygen hydrogen single bond. in the case of our alcohols, is just a little bit weaker. I'm not putting numbers to these things, but to just give you uh, a sense that what we have here is a case you know, where the bonds in the enol tautomer are a little bit weaker, a little bit higher in energy than the bonds in the keto tautomer. So the keto tautomer is, is favored at equilibrium. In the next video, we're going to talk about, uh, or in the next couple of videos, we're going to talk about the, the two different primary ways of hydrating uh, alkynes uh, and, and the, the regiochemical outcomes. Uh, and there'll be another video going into keto enol tautomerization in more depth. Thank you for watching.